The link in the description is only there to see the source material. Do not under any circumstance go to these people with the intent to be a dick. I don't support rich ones or lynch mobbing, so don't be either. As for the subjects themselves, my video is for the purposes of criticism and entertainment. Take it or leave it. My content is not here to start drama. Please do not treat it like it is. Why is it that no one can cover Halo fan without getting super aggressive about it? First it was Prince Neo and his abysmal Saturday school fuckfest where he just destructively tears down Halo fan because he's Halo fan. Then we have the Corporation of Alternative Nitpickers cover Halo fan where the amount of shit they pulled actually made one of the worst columns of 2017. And now we have Dan Stein. Yes, that Dan Stein. So because people may not remember him, allow me to reintroduce to you. Dan Stein was a child commentator I covered in 2016 who was notorious for constantly pestering me to get into calls with him, and when I finally blocked him, claimed he was going to become suicidal if I didn't unblock him. This is the other half of what we'll be dealing with today. Dan decided to do a video on a channel called Mickey Views, talking about a supposed overhaul on Disney's Tomorrowland, and Halo fan covered that. Which Dan covered, which Halo fan covered, and so they had their back and forths fighting over a marshmallow until we get to me at degree 7. However, unlike most people who want to cover Dan, and trust me, I'm gonna do my part to slap around his video, I'm gonna be covering everything including the most recent commentary in the chain as of scripting this being Halo fan. If for no other reason than to show everyone that covering Halo fan doesn't have to include belligerent attacking him as a person because he's a bad commentator. And, you know, kind of not great person if Prince Neo has anything to go by. Point is, attacking him isn't going to do anything. Fuck it, let's begin. Why can't this guy just leave me alone for once? I mean, you're the one responding, Halo fan. Like I said to Orion and to Turfy, it takes two to tango, and you don't have to get the last word in a conversation. If you want Dan Stein to leave you alone, don't make a response to him. It's not like he's going out of his way to hit you, he's just merely responding to the commentaries you make on him. And I know he wouldn't respond to you if you don't give him something to respond to, given his second video on me was about where that whole spiel ended with us. I didn't talk about his video and he just kind of left me be, at least as far as commentaries go. He has done yet another damn commentary on my video. And this is totally going to help, isn't it, Halo fan? Hey, look at here, people. This guy called me a nitpicking douchebag at its finest. But did I really? Well, actually, you were actually nitpicking for the original video, for your video, for my commentary, for my commentary on you. You were just nitpicking about my voice and my skip screen and my intro entirely. Don't worry, I plan to address Dan's really awful points when we get there, but for now I'd like to address the point you made as it doesn't actually address Dan's point in this context. You had previously said that Dan had called you a nitpicking douchebag and Dan corrected you explaining how he didn't call you a douchebag. You explaining how he nitpicked your voice and intro in a previous video regardless of where doesn't actually address this to debunk anything or explain where he had called you a douchebag. If you don't provide proof he did, Dan's point is still valid. Wow, this means wooden! This means wooden! I know he's trying to say this means war then, but... <laughs> doesn't sound like it to me! Congratulations, Dan! You learned how to make a point from nothing! If you know that Halo fan was trying to say this means war then, then your point about his speech impediment making it difficult to understand, implied by your joke, gets contradicted by your follow-up as you straight up prove that you know how to use context clues to understand him just fine. Just because it can also somewhat sound like it could be Yanni if you squint your ears doesn't mean that what being said isn't Laurel. See what I mean by you come to your suck ass? I mean, the reason why these suck is because you nitpicking my grammar. My god. I mean, it's not your grammar, it's your pronunciation due to your obvious speech impediment, but you know. To, you know, be fair. I'm just going to say the positive thing for once. So basically, yeah, I like your new intro. Oh, oh, oh. It gives you more of a reason to uh, give yourself an avatar for the fact of being that, well, you see, you don't show your face. As you can tell, I'm literally face from right now. Literally. Just really. The you're still complaining about me showing my voice, I mean showing my face in front of the video, the whole video. I seriously want to kill myself right now, but I can't, I'm doing a commentary. 
I'm sorry, why is everyone so aggressive towards Halo Fan again? Well, anyway, Halo Fan, once again, this doesn't really address Dan's point. Dan, let's cut to the chase. His intro gives him more of justification to use an avatar. Why? Why is this intro more justification to use something that's not him as a talking head in comparison to his last intro? All I can gather is it's because in his last intro he showed his face on camera, but that still doesn't make extra justification for it because he's really free to use an avatar if he wants to. Especially given something that later Halo Fan explains prior to the video in current. He has an excuse. Oh, and we're gonna get to that point in a moment. Does that mean your argument is gonna bite you in the ass hard? Yep. Maybe. We'll see. Either way, he was actually nitpicking himself. So, so hypocrisy comes with supplies. Hypocrisy comes with supplies. Um, I don't know what that means. I mean, it's fairly obvious that Halo fan is calling you out due to hypocrisy. You got onto his case for being a nitpicker given the title of your previous video, yet you, throughout your own video, get on the Halo fan's case for menial bullshit. Halo fan is merely telling you that if you're gonna get on his case for nitpicking, then you should probably practice what you preach. And I'm pretty sure that's not a thing people say. Yeah, but here's the thing. I, I got that clip or statement or whatever from Super Charmander 1. So, do your research next time. And there's no clip blade, so thus you leave your audience having to do your legwork for you, which is really aggravating given Super Charmander 1 has 117 videos on his channel, and someone would have to weed out which video you're referring to to even understand the context. Not to mention his sub count being one someone wouldn't instinctively know how to do research on. Also, fun fact to those who don't know, Super Charmander 1 is an ex-commentator who hasn't done a commentary since 2013, probably where Halo fans reference come from. In other words, where should we have known that we should have looked up your reference to begin with, when you weren't even going to give us any indication that it's not just you? Mainly for the fact being that, well, you have a speech impediment. I can barely understand what you're saying when you're, you're talking normally, let alone on faster than the speed of sound. Jesus Christ. Look. Yeah. No, I'm not sure where that came from. There's just this random Halo fan frame thrown in between two Dan degrees, and I'm not sure why. Is this Dan's doing? Did Halo fan forget to put in his interjection? I, I don't know, but that happened. Like, I'm not gonna gwiss out when people leave in fragments of another video. It does look better if you don't have them there, but it's typically such a small thing that I don't care that much. However, here it looks like Halo fan wanted to interject but said nothing and just left that in. So, uh, yeah, this is awkward. Uh, all right, so, Dan, I've decided that I'm gonna hit you myself here. Halo fan isn't really speaking that fast. The problem typically comes from the fact that he does sometimes mumble due to his speech impediment, but that has nothing to do with speed. Instead, it has everything to do with enunciation. Someone did a commentary on me. This is Halo fan HP00. Oh, and he did a response video to my video uh, on Mickey views. So let's see what this guy has to say. Okay then, so uh, here's something I'm gonna have to say. Why did you show your old intro? It's a response commentary, you dumbass. Look it up next time, okay? And also, why are you bitching about my old intro? If you're gonna complain about that, complain about that in your original response video. Not you. I actually don't have a problem with Halo Fan's retort here. In fact, I want to expand on Halo Fan's idea towards Dan. Dan, Halo Fan left in the original video because you left in his original intro in your first response, to then go on and criticize it by telling Halo Fan to put himself on camera throughout the entire video, which Halo Fan went on to respond to. Your criticism connected to his intro, so in order to give context to his audience, he actually needed to play out the original intro. Gee, it almost seems like people need to understand what the actual discussion is in order to follow along to this confusing mess of a video. It's been forever since I've had to break out the degree counters and look at what you two have done. In this video, like, showing off two intros at once, really bad idea. So, next time you do a response to me, like, if you do a response to this video, then, uh, yeah, just 
have only one intro and not two or you know what my IQ gets lower and lower and lower every time this idiot speaks like this video feels like it's kind of cancel like seriously I mean I am not helping you I I I'm most likely just helping YouTube from getting more us cancel us now because honestly that's what I need I need YouTube to stay with me you as soon as possible. I'm not helping you at all. Oh, right. I forgot. This is why people get aggressive with Halo fan. Still doesn't make it right, though. Like, yeah, Halo coming in hostile towards their target isn't good, and Halo, if you do happen to watch this, there is a time and place to make pot shots towards your target that doesn't seem like spite seeping into your video. This wasn't it, as there wasn't a joke to it, especially when you followed it up with, oh, I'm not here to help you. Like, what are you here for then, if not to critique and debate Dan's video? Are you here to be destructive towards your target? Then what makes you any better than Dan? Whee! If you're gonna show your face in your intro, then at least show your face throughout the remainder of the rest of the video. I need to sweet. I need to show my face throughout the remainder of the video. Go on by your logic. Every commentator needs to show their face in the middle of the video. Hey, Supersonic Wood 15, can I grab your hammer for a second? All right, listen. The only reason why I said that is because you actually showed your face in your intro. Yet, you have to use an avatar throughout out the entire video. Yeah, and you know what else? <clears throat> Auto commentators also use avatars too. So why are you complaining at me for this? Complain to other commentators for this. Dan's complaint stems from the fact that you showed yourself in the intro of your video, given that he's under the impression that you're only using an avatar to keep yourself anonymous. And if you used actual camera footage of yourself, then that negates the purpose as you're no longer anonymous, as people know what you look like. And he would be correct if that were the reason you were doing that. Dan, in case you hadn't noticed in the degree prior to your own, Halo fan even explains that the reason he uses an avatar is because it's easier for him. Besides, it's easier to do that than just use avatars. Trust me. I no, for me, it's actually a lot easier to use an avatar. So get off his case about this, please. He's not doing it to stay anonymous. He's just using Master Chief as a talking head for his videos for convenience sake. We are not making this image gate 2, this time it's personal. He should be able to use an avatar if he wants to. Similarly, you're free to use camera footage and I can use gameplay footage. Why the fuck do our avatars matter? Honestly, you guys get more and more arbitrary as the year goes on. Next we'll be getting onto each other's cases for the use of the word THE. For me, I'm not showing my face like some freaking idiot that you are. Okay fine, I'm first off I do apologize for calling you an idiot, seriously. But but seriously, it's, it, it, it's jarring. Like, really jarring. How is his camera footage jarring when he uses it throughout the entirety of his video? To be jarring, you'd have to somehow clash incongruously to your surroundings. I mean, maybe you mean it as jarring in comparison to someone using an avatar, but in context of this whole shift-flinging episode we got going on here, Dan was using camera footage to another person using camera footage. So it's not any more jarring than when a commentator with an avatar commentates on another commentator using an avatar. If anything, you bringing up how it's jarring would incentivize you to use camera footage instead of an avatar, which I know you don't wish to do. Before you said my point was jarring, you were mumbling a little bit. I was not mumbling for, the, for a little bit for that point I made. I said in my video, I was like, I was, I'm sorry for calling you an idiot. How did, how come I can hear that point, but some other reason you can't? Well, because of course you would know what you said. You said it. It's like when Blazing Larvesta argued in favor of his piss poor audio balancing. Some people won't be able to understand you if your music overpowers your audio, just as the case here. People may not be able to understand you if you mumble, but in both cases the person in question would understand what's going on because it's their video and can understand their own speech patterns. Now I'll admit, personally, I could understand you just fine, but that's just a me thing. If Dan couldn't understand you, that's on him. You can't tell him he's wrong that he can't understand you unless he actually addresses what you say and prove to us that he's lying. Like his stupid now it's wooden point. Good lord. This guy keeps on Dan Stan. Trying to... I I'm sorry, what did you call me? He's on Dan Stan. Trying to... Dan Stan! That sounds like my Swedish counterpart. I should... Talk to him. Actually, Halo fan said Dan Stan, but sure, let's go with Gan Stan because there's totally a reason for him to use a G sound over a D sound. That makes sense. So, let me get this straight. You're nitpicking my 
Grandma. Now I know why you don't know how to speak English. Because if anyone ever tried to teach you, you'd say it's nitpicking. No, he calls it nitpicking because it is. Even had he mispronounced your name, would it really have done anything to his video that actually matters? He'd still have the points that he would have, it's just that he would have mispronounced your name this one time, or two in the case of earlier. It's essentially you making a bigger deal about a small detail that Halo fan got wrong. Oh, like, could you imagine if I did that every time my username got pronounced Doodle Tunes? Gee, I would get nothing done. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm not saying it to everyone else. I'm just clarifying it to you. Why? Because you keep on repeating the point. You drew really it through my head. It doesn't need to be. He did it once in the earlier video and once after your video. The point isn't getting hammered in, or at least not as far as we can see in your video. I will agree it's a needless thing to dwell on, even as much as he does, but it's not nearly repetitious enough to call it hammering it in. Who the hell are you? Are you, are you Emily Bowman or something? Context please, cause I don't get that reference! Either way, I literally said this throughout the whole entire video. <laughs> because, you know, the guy also nitpicked my grandma as well, and he called me fucking Yogi Bear for once. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Next time you should actually wait to, wait for the person to finish the statement, instead of cutting them off. Uh, Halo fan, buddy, what does this exactly prove? Like, what's the joke? Because that's what Dan is getting onto your case about. He doesn't understand the joke, and your clip of you explaining how he nitpicks your pronunciation and called you Yogi Bear doesn't really provide the good context to the joke you were telling whilst calling him Angry Bullman, I think. Uh, point is, is it doesn't provide the context Dan was looking for. Sorry. Also in the video, he's gonna nitpick my grammar throughout the whole entire video, and trust me, we'll care to that one later. But he wasn't doing it here, though. Halo Vent, did you put your interjection in the wrong place? Is this where the blank space went? W was this the interjection that that was supposed to be? Oh, it was a reference to uh, another commentary you did on someone. Okay. Too bad I can't look him up because I don't know how to spell whatever the heck you call them. Well, you know. Also, you sound a lot more like Elmer Fudd than Yogi Bear. Not going to lie. It's later! Seriously, dude, you actually are still nitpicking my grammar. I would just like to remind my audience to replace every iteration of the word grammar with pronunciation. Halo Finn does not know the difference. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, folks, if you're gonna unsubscribe from him just because of one little mistake, like, seriously? No, in order to be a credible news station, you gotta know what you're talking about. And this isn't even one little mistake. He calls this version of Tomorrowland steampunk throughout the entire video. Yeah, but if the guy is a stationary review, you said the station reviews never make mistakes. Uh, yeah, they actually do make mistakes, actually. Because that right there could have been an audio error, or... Yes, people, I'm still going by that whole audio error thing. Seriously, I'm still am. Why? It doesn't work, Halo. If it was a mere audio error, then it wouldn't be called steampunk throughout the video. It would be done once or twice. Now, I, I could maybe give it that it's an information block given Tomorrowland was built on steampunk ideals given they used leftovers from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea when they built that part of the park in 1955, but that's only a reason, not an excuse. It hasn't been a steampunk themed park since 1966, and in this particular instance, Dan is right about it being incorrect information. That said, I did enjoy your The News Still Makes Mistakes point. That was a good direction. Actually, it's neither of those two. I still believe that he's doing it on purpose. And I still believe it's actually an audio error. And I still believe you're both being children. Oh no, he did that on purpose. If it was an informational problem, then it's not on purpose. He just missed something in his research that would have given him more updated information. So unless you got more solid evidence that this was a legit attempt at misinforming his audience, then I'm gonna have to write this off as assumptions at best. Have a bowl, Mr. Squidward! What does that skip clip have to do with skipping? Why does his skip card footage require to relate to skipping? Typically, commentators use random clips for their skip cards so they can skip ahead in the video whilst informing their audience that they're doing so. These clips can be used for entertainment purposes. What's the big deal? This is, again, a non-issue at best. <sighs> Why are you nitpicking my skip screen? You're nitpicking my skip screen. 
This is the biggest nitpick I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you nitpicking for one sec. Seriously, this is video gets, this is just one part of the scenes. <laughs> Listen, if at the very next scene you threw a bowl at someone, then probably I'd accept it. But other than that, it has nothing to do with skipping. Okay, first off, yes, it does have to do something with skipping. So, do your fucking research, you dope! No, the footage of your skip card has nothing to do with skipping ahead in the video. There's nothing for him to research. Please, let's not make this a thing. A bowl, Mr. Squidward! At the beginning of the video, he didn't want to call me an idiot. But here, he's calling me a bitch, which is probably worse. Motherfucker, are you, are you, are you serious, dude? That's not worse. <laughs> that is not worse at all. Calling one person the bitch is not worse at all, in my opinion. For example, when we became productions called This Will Suffolk a cunt, that was actually worse. What the fuck kind of interjections are we having here again? Now we're arguing over pot shots? Alright, okay, first of all, Halo fan, bitch is widely regarded as a swear word, whereas idiot is not. Swear words are typically seen by the general public, believe it or not, as a taboo that people should avoid doing. Idiot is not. Maybe by your moral compass, idiot is a worse insult to bitch, but by the general public, it's not. That said, your argument against it where you bring up someone calling another person a cunt doesn't provide the information to debunk Dan's claim of you being a hypocrite. What would do so is explaining how A, going back on your word isn't actually hypocrisy, it's just you going back on your word, and B, back to the original point, your moral compass dictates that idiot is a worse insult than bitch. Thus, in your head, shows us that you're not actually going too far by your own standards. They then run around in circles for about several minutes before I actually couldn't focus on what's occurring in the video, so I'm just gonna cut myself short so I can move on to my final thoughts. Alright, Halofan, first of all, I would like to address the absolute repetitiousness of constant points I noticed throughout his video. I will say that yeah, this was probably the better of the two main videos I was looking at throughout my own, but goddamn dude, repeating a point over and over again won't make it automatically correct. And if you want people like Dan to leave you alone, you can take initiative first and disengage with him. Now Dan, what the fuck actually happened here? When did you become such a pompous fucking tool? Halo fan isn't a target just to condescend at every chance you get because he's typically seen as an easy target. And that was the one thing I obtained all throughout your video of its near 30 minute runtime. You thrust on arbitrary standards onto Halo fan, make fun of Halo fan's speech impediment, and, well, just be a kind of a destructive tool against your target. Congrats, your Dan Stein has evolved into an example of everything wrong in the CC. In 2017, you don't actually wish to help Halo fan, you just wish to make fun of him for things that are out of his control, and get him to shut up and leave you alone, which is the type of toxic bullshit I thought we all agreed to drop after last year's shit flinging. Halo fan is considered an easy target, so people suddenly forget that you actually have to try to make a good commentary. And that's what I notice happens almost every time someone covers Halo fan. They want to spend more time attacking his person over his arguments. And no, Prince Neo, that's not what we call actually trying to help people. Because there's quite the massive gap between constructive criticism and destructive criticism. And given you want to see people help others instead of just going after them, it amazes me how you think Dan's video has any worth. If anything, it's the lazy route to go, because it's much easier to thrust out ad hominems than actually attempt to critique or debate with Halo fan. Slayer did just fine with his video. Why can't anyone else do that? It's like no one learned from the Joshua Tree in 2016. I made this commentary with that point in mind. Covering a bandwagon doesn't excuse bad behavior and lack of care to your video. And seeing people defend this practice is very unfortunate because you're promoting a toxic mindset while trying to stomp out another. Ugh. I'm glad I don't see this as often as I used to, but the fact that Dan's video even exists proves that the mentality is still around. And I look forward to the day where that doesn't happen anymore. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.